I love Goya products. They're really good. And no, I'm not being paid by Goya. I'm just telling you that in my house, um, I try and make dinner sometimes using boxed items and dockering them up because I got a lot of shit on my plate and I don't have time just to be doing everything from scratch. There's nothing wrong with it. 99% of the time I am cooking from scratch. But sometimes you need a little help and you're in a rush. So Goya is always there for me and I love Goya, especially the yellow rice. This is the family size box. I could probably keep them in business and how much I use this and buy this. We did a Mediterranean shrimp. Everybody loved it. Everyone was like, that was so good. So, whoa, pick up my tray. We're gonna make a Spanish shrimp. We're gonna make Spanish rice shrimp. We're gonna use the Goya shrimp and I'm gonna explain exactly what on my tray. We're gonna make an easy dinner, delicious dinner, and like a beautiful dinner. Just because you're gonna use a box product doesn't mean that it's half fast because by no means what I'm gonna do here is half fast. This is just to help you. You don't wanna use a box product, you can use normal rice, pick up some saffron and do it that way. Um, but this is gonna be our main component is the rice. In the bag, I have six, 15, 16 by 20 shrimp. Peeled, uh, deveined, uh, I'm just gonna pull the tails off. They have been marinating, marinating in a little sasson. Oh, if you don't know what sasson is, I'm gonna go grab it, hold on. Sasson, another Goya product. Sasson is the best, okay? I used one package for one full bag of frozen shrimp, a little olive oil, and they've been sitting there overnight. Sasson, great, great seasoning packet. I had these tomatoes, because I keep them on my counter, I use them for salads and everything. They were starting to turn and get all mushy, so I cut them up, we're gonna put that in our rice. I had the little sweet peppers, we love them, we stuff them with cream cheese and do all that. Um, I cleaned them up, got a little bit of butter, I got a yellow onion and of course garlic. I got some bacon, because we're gonna render that fat down, get that nice bacon. If you wanna make this pescatarian or with no meat, keep the bacon, oops, gonna keep the bacon out. Uh, I'm gonna hide some veggies in there, so I have some fresh spinach, I have some fresh herbs, some cilantro and parsley here. And we're gonna do this in one pot, and it's gonna be amazing and delicious. So let's get started. So I wanna explain my concept of the rice. It is my Spanish rice, so that means we need to make a sofrito. And um, a lot of different cultures do sofritos differently. I kinda of gonna mix my Portuguese, what my grandma and my mom have taught me, with a traditional Spanish sofrito, which is obviously onion, garlic, and I use peppers. Um, you want to small dice everything. I am going to still slice my garlic because that's how I like it, but I am going to small dice everything. I'll put it in the bowls, and this is going to be sauteed. Now, it's not sauteing it so it gets brown. Sauteing it so it releases the flavors, and the peppers, because they're not spicy and they're sweet peppers, you're not going to use spicy peppers here. Um, that sugar helps caramelize and bring like all the richness out of the garlic and the onions, and you go slow over low heat. I don't know if you know the peppers that I'm talking about. I mean, you can use a regular pepper, but I buy a bag of those mini sweet peppers um, probably once a week just because with the kids, they love them as snacks. I do um, ranch or blue cheese as uh, dressing, but I always have like three random left over. So this is a good way to use up some like leftover veggies. Um, like I said a little while ago, you don't want to do a spicy pepper here. If you want to add some heat, we can add heat in like when we have our broth going with a little bit of like chili flake or um, you can add a little bit of cayenne. But I'm keeping these neutral, neutral, neutral. Um, not spicy because I'm not a spicy person. I mean, I'm spicy, but I don't like spicy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. The shrimp in a bowl. Just taking my tails off, throwing the tail back in the bag, the shrimp into the bowl. Very easy, once again. Pinch the tail, comes off, and the shrimp go here. You may ask, Lauren, why didn't you just take the tails off when you were gonna marinate them? Um, I was being lazy. I just took the shrimp, put them in the bag. Figured I'd do it now. Figured I didn't know if I wanted to take the tails off. Figured I didn't know what I was gonna do with the shrimp when I thawed it out. I think I'm just being lazy. So the reason I'm doing this is I want to show you once again, Ziploc bags. Look at this. 
all my shrimp tails are in here, all my marinades in here, and when I'm done, I'm just gonna throw this out, and that's it. No clean up, no extra bowl. Makes your life so much easier. All in the prep. So, we have everything prepped out here. We have our shrimp, we have our tomatoes, our peppers, our cilantro and parsley, a little butter, garlic and onions, our bacon and our spinach, and our big pot. So we are gonna get going with this Spanish rice. Olive oil in the pan. Let's get it over medium heat. Bacon, small dice, hot pan. You're gonna render this. So, we wanna make it crispy, but we're also gonna use it to be cooking with, so it's not gonna stay as crispy as you like. But we wanna get all that fat for flavor. Ooh, sizzle. Who doesn't love Outcast? Keep stirring. Get that bacon. It's like a dance party. Maybe I got a new career. Maybe I'll be the dancing chef. Ooh. I don't know, my dance moves go that good. All right, I'm gonna render this down. Once this is cooked down and we got the fat off the bacon, we're gonna add our garlic and our onions into it. Bacon, woo! We got a lot of fat to work with. All that fat is flavor. Garlic and onions. Just turn the fan on, get a little smoke in here. Garlic and onions, toss it around and all that bacon fat. Hold on, let me get another minute. I need to show you. Because I can talk to you about it, but if I don't show it to you, look at that. Now, it did stick a little bit on the pan when I was browning up the bacon. That's okay. We're gonna do glaze of white wine anyways. And that's gonna get all that up. And that's why we need to use a good wooden spoon so we can scrape the tidbits, the flavor bits. We're gonna treat this just like it was rice, not a season pack. But so what we're gonna do is I wanna toss my rice in all of this in the pan. So it does have seasoning with the rice. We're gonna pour that in. And now we're gonna to toss it really, really well. We're gonna add our stock. You can use water, you can use fish stock, you can use chicken stock or broth. Um, I use the low sodium just because I cook with salted butter and the bacon. So this has been, how hot is this? Now I'm tossing it all together. All the rice mixed in, and then we're gonna pour in our liquid and get it going. Once this is simmering and the rice is not fully cooked, then we add our shrimp, then we add our tomatoes, then we add our spinach and herbs. Right now we wanna get this cooking so that it's at a simmer before we end add everything else in. Um, do you see that steam? It's been around 16 minutes, so we're gonna take the lid off and put your lid somewhere safe. Gonna give it a stir. So the rice is almost fully cooked, and right now it's very brothy. So we're gonna add in our spinach, try and get all of it in the bowl. Why wouldn't I be a mess at this point? Um, so we're adding in our spinach, we're adding in our tomatoes. I love how colorful this is gonna be. Um, do not worry that it's soupy. Do not worry that it's soupy, focus with me. The rice is going to cook and absorb all that. Our shrimp that are just marinated in oil and sazon, they're gonna go in as well. Um, do not, I don't put my shrimp in frozen. Now, stirring it all together. Look at this, clean up is easy. Cilantro and parsley. Now you wanna taste your broth so we can season it with salt and pepper. It's nice and soupy. Little Spice Girls, I mean my music today is on point. Okay, in the pot we got our shrimp, our spinach, our tomatoes, our bacon, our garlic, our onions, our peppers, which we made that all down in sofrito. We have our stock, we added our rice. We're gonna season with some fresh ground pepper and some salt. It's soupy, it's 
been on for 16 minutes. It probably needs another eight minutes. We're gonna stir it. We're gonna put our lid back on. Ay, 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 that's caliente. And we're gonna go low for another six minutes. It's okay that it's soupy. It's going to absorb. Plus, you wanna eat this with bread. We wanna soak it up. Wait till you see it in a bowl. Wait till you see it in a bowl. Our shrimp, our Spanish shrimp is what we're gonna call this, is ready. Do you see what I mean by it absorbs the sauce? This, look at these nice sized shrimp. That's why I like the 16 by 20. Such a beautiful, so now, just gonna give it a stir. I already tasted it for salt, it was good. Um, pepper. Now, if you just keep the lid on like this, you're not gonna overcook your rice or your shrimp, but you will have that liquid absorb in. Let's get a plate so we can eat. And here is our Spanish rice and shrimp. Look at this amazingness. The Goya saffron rice with our shrimp and bacon and garlic and oh, that sofrito, it all came together so nice.